Hello everyone, it's Cherie. Welcome to my channel. I hope everybody is doing well and having a wonderful day. I am back with another Junk Journal With Me challenge. So this is just a little challenge that I came up with for myself and basically I give myself um, six things, five plus a bonus, to use on a spread. So the um, the six things this go around are, number one is something laying on my desk, two is a torn element, a three is a vintage playing card, four wrapping paper, five postal stamps, and six use some washi. So I just started out by showing you guys um, the stuff that I'm that I pulled out that were my my six things. These are my little container of stamps here that I have. So I start off in the center of my journal and I have this photo and then these are the items that I chose that were just laying on my desk. So um, if you're like me, you might have a pile of different random things on your desk or maybe you have a little junk drawer that you can pull something from. Just something that's laying around that you've been wanting to put in your journal but you just haven't gotten around to it. Or maybe you've got a few pieces left over from a previous project. So I have this little page here that I had made um, a while ago and I have been wanting to put it in my journal and so I decided to go ahead and use it. And then I grab some washi to um, go ahead and just tip that in. So that is one item of something that was sitting on my desk and I'm using some washi. So I'm going to go ahead and just tip that little um, that little page, patched page in there, or Franken page, whichever way you call it. And then I have this photo of myself and my brother and one of my dear friends. She recently moved back. She's moved away about seven or eight years ago. And she came back, not to our town, but closer to where we can actually visit now. And we all went out to dinner, her and her mom and myself and my brother and my husband and kids. And it was, we were able to catch up and it was really nice. So um, I went ahead and pulled out my Project Life cards to give me a little bit of journaling space. And I liked the one with the map on it because, you know, she just moved back. And then I'm going to dig through my little bin of um, ledger paper. And I pulled out this sheet here and then that little piece there that I'm playing with is actually the spine of a little golden book journal, or little golden book journal, a little golden book. And I had just peeled it off and I couldn't throw it away because, you know, you can't throw anything away. Terrible. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this ledger down. And this is kind of where I am continuing um, a little bit of school journaling. So I had like, I had moved, decided to change my spot in my journal because I knew that I had a section in my journal where I had journaled about school, my kids' school, and I had a couple of pieces that I wanted to add to that. So I went ahead and used that little spine and then I had this little S that was left over from when I did my school spread, which I do have a video for that on my channel as well. You can check it out if you'd like to. And then this is just a little bow of seam binding and it's not like the cotton kind. I think it's called rayon and it's floppy and a little stretchy and um, I use it in my daughter's hair sometimes for school. When I put braids in her hair, I'll tie some little ribbons on the bottom of her braids, and it's just so cute. I love it. So um, I had that bow left over, and I decided to go ahead and put it in my journal. And then I was going to, you know, do a little journaling about how the summer is coming to an end, and I need to get some more, some different colors of the same binding for my crafts and her hair and then this is just a little piece of um, fabric actually that I had cut out I don't even remember why and it has been sitting on my desk and then my plain cards which is one of the um, the items to use in a spread 
So I was just kind of looking for something that maybe matched or went along with what I was journaling about. And I liked this Proud to be an American card here. So it's kind of school related and um, I just stapled it on the inside of there. And I didn't, I thought maybe I might do some journaling on that paper, but I don't end up doing any. It just kind of has a card in there, which is fine. I still like it. I was kind of all over the place with this, um, with this spread. It kind of reminded me of whenever I am sometimes cleaning the house and I go and I start on one thing and then I go to put it away and then I do something in the other room and you know you just kind of get sidetracked and you feel like you've been working all day and nothing's accomplished <laughs> yeah that's me so um, I went through my wrapping paper and um, I had just pulled out a couple of little floral pieces that I thought I may want to use and I really like this one I like that the color in the um, in the middle of that flower the peachy one matched that uh, peachy paper on the other side it, I just thought it went really well together so I'm gonna go ahead and use um, this wrapping paper so with this um, with this challenge I actually kind of end up doing three separate little stories which is good I'm happy that I um, was able to spread out and not just work on one story, which is a little different for me. So I go ahead and I just um, glue that down and I wasn't really sure what I was gonna end up putting there. I just liked the paper by the other paper. And I thought, well, if I don't end up doing anything on here, then that's okay because I still like the way that this looks and I can always add to it later if I need to. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some more washi just because I wanted to make sure that I used enough washi. And I really love this little thin strip washi here. And then I glue my little Project Life card down. I'm really happy that my friend Keisha, that she's back because um, we actually wrote letters to each other quite a bit. And um, our schedules were so different. And we used to, she was, she was my early bird friend. So we used to always get coffee together in the mornings or she'd come to my house and have coffee or I'd go to her house and have coffee when she lived here. And like I said, it was like eight years ago. And um, I really missed my little early bird friend because um, the majority of my friends are like night owls and I've always been, I just get up super early. It's just how I'm wired. Um, so I went ahead and grabbed my little postage stamps and I thought it went perfect because we did used to write letters to each other back and forth. We both enjoy writing letters. And um, I was like, oh, I didn't even mean for that to happen. It just kind of worked out, you know? And then I'm back to the school spread. So here's what I mean by going back and forth. I'm going from one story to the other story. And um, I just pulled out my little container of it just has some little school thing stuff in it and just staple that little um, cut apart card there and let me see yep then I go back here and I glue these stamps down and I really like the way that it looks like I didn't do a whole lot in this spread but it just came together really easy and it was actually really fast and um, it looks nice. I like how the how it ended up, the end result. And then I have another little scrap of that wrapping paper that I thought I may use on the other page. And then when I was digging for my school stuff, I ran across this little quote sticker here that says, wherever you are, it's your own friends who make your world. And I thought that was really sweet because I am just so happy she's back. So I'm just going to go ahead and sprinkle some more washi around the page there. And I also found um, some coffee stickers, which went perfect. It was not planned. It just kind of happened. So now that she's back home, I can, um, I've called her and she's called me almost every morning and we just have our coffee over the phone now. So, um, but we were on total opposite schedules when she had moved. 
so it, it just we just weren't able to to speak over the phone um so i went ahead and i glued down that fabric and i think that it looks really nice i like the blues and i like that i'm using just you know random stuff that's been on my desk for a while and i put that little perk up sticker there and then the rise and shine coffee sticker and it just went it just went great and I'm gonna go ahead and just glue um, another little piece of that wrapping paper down and I like the way that, that looks too so I also had some or I have some um, business cards from different shops I will collect them for a little while before I stick them in my journal and um, I had this big piece here, Vintage Fabric Studios. It's a shop on Etsy. I think it's on Etsy. And they've got some really cute vintage fabrics if you want to check them out. So I just made like a pocket um, with their little card that came in the mail and tucked some of the other business cards in there. But they started falling out because I didn't put enough staples, but I go ahead and fix it. And then of course, I've got, I had ordered something from Diane. Hey y'all, it's Diane. I just love her <laughs> from um, my old barn door. She's so sweet and her, her videos are just, they're just happy videos. They just make you happy listening to her. She cracks me up. So um, these are the close-ups. I hope that you guys enjoy this video. I hope that you guys are having a blessed day. I'm sorry I didn't get one out last week. Like I said, I was on vacation and I will catch you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.